Today I'm visiting Walmart and Lowe's to see what kind of rare plants I can find, but here's the catch. My budget is going to be $20. I know that just feels and sounds impossible, but you can be so surprised at what we can find at these big box shops. There are so many great plants on clearance and all of these amazing new plants are coming on the market. So I thought for $20, I could probably find a great plant. So I am going to go on a little treasure hunt today and I'm so excited that you're going to be tagging along with me. It's just a missed opportunity this time of year to not go explore the big box shops, especially with all of these amazing plants that I'm seeing people find coming out to the marketplace. And to be honest, I have been blowing out my budget so far. If you've been watching recently, you know I've gone to the Raleigh State Farmers Market and Big Bloomers and I spent uh, so much money on plants and it was a blast. I feel so fortunate to have found the plants that I found, but I love doing these budget videos because it is a challenge and it's such a treasure hunt and I have an absolute blast. So I always share my haul at the end of the video. And if you enjoy plant shopping and relaxing planty videos, plant care videos, feel free to subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. Nothing but positive, relaxing, planty vibes here on this channel. We all need a little extra positivity and fun in our lives. So we also have have a great community on Instagram if you'd like to join us on there. Now a huge thank you to Native for sponsoring this video. I have been a tried and true Native user for many years now and it started with their deodorants specifically for their ingredients and their scent and now I am absolutely hooked on their body washes for the exact same reasons. The ingredients listed are clean and simple and easy to understand phthalate and dye free and for us animal lovers, vegan and cruelty free, super important to me personally. After ingredients, it comes down to scent, right? We wanna smell good. And they say that the best way to smell great all day long is to start with your body wash, grapefruit and bergamot. It's very fresh, very citrusy. This aloe and green tea is one of my favorites and you smell super clean and you have that really nice shampoo smell. Sea salt and cedar is turning into one of my favorite summer scents actually. And what's great is my husband can use it as well. I do really like that they froth up as well into a lather and that leaves my skin feeling so soft, but it doesn't have the sulfated surfactants. Use my link and code PLANTLIFE5 to get 20% off your first purchase at Native. This offer is available site wide, but for a limited time. So stock up and save. All right, let's go see what treasures I can find for $20. I'll be sharing my haul at the end of the video. So this is the time of year where I start noticing some tropical plants actually outside in the garden center as well as inside. And I just noticed these absolutely beautiful, what looks like alocasias, maybe easy riders, I'm not exactly sure, but they're so pretty and they're only $10. And I also saw these beautiful caladiums. It's so exciting to see these out and about as well, finally. It's kind of like my first glance at caladiums uh, this year and this one is called flatter me 1098 look how beautiful these leaves are oh my gosh i just love caladiums so much some more caladiums these are flare caladium 598 so beautiful all right so i've stepped inside and i see so many great plants can't believe they have these adorable micans oh my gosh 1698 look at these beautiful planters that they're in that's so wonderful i'm so glad to be seeing more micans in the big box shops they have little fiddles here 1598 what else what else we have dracaena little cactus here some fern and there's a nice staghorn fern how much these are usually yeah 15 for the staghorn fern Looks like an interesting Tradescantia. There's some nice variegation on there. What else? Some really beautiful orchids. Oh my goodness, they have some Alocasia Black Velvets. They are $13.98 for the Alocasia Black Velvets. What a good deal. Oh my goodness. All right, see what else? Ooh, they have some Global Green Pothos, which is really cool to see. No. Looks like there are some Maybe an Enjoy or a Pearls and Jade. And the Money Tree over here. Ivy, Peperomia. I'm just glancing through. Look at these humongous spider plants. $16 for the huge spider plants. Absolutely gorgeous. $5.48. 
Ficus pumila. I just think this one's so pretty. Those leaves are absolutely beautiful. Some more ivy, waffle plant. Look at this syngonium. Gosh, $7.98, that's a big syngonium. Some more syngonium down there, Dracaena. Moonlight trubii, staghorn fern. A huge neon pothos. It's got some interesting coloring to it though, $16. And some bonsai. This aglionema is really pretty. I saw um, a variegated aglionema at a specialty nursery, Big Bloomers, the other day. And I just can't stop thinking about it. I just thought that was so, I've never seen a variegated aglionema before. So now I'm like, not that I've ever heard of one being found at a big box shop, but I'm keeping my eye out. 1998 here on another global green. Got some ZZs and Dracaena and Calathea mosaica. Nice. They have one of the teddy bear Tradescantias. These are so fuzzy and amazing. $20. Um, Golden Pothos. This one is interesting. Don't see it around that often. Dianthiflora alsobia. Interesting. Some little money trees. They have lots of little peace lilies. Ooh, they have some Baltic blue over here hanging out. Oh, they have some silver dragon alocasia. So beautiful. These are 20. And some more of the Baltic blue. Oh, look. I believe this is the Schistema glottis. It's more of a kind of an uncommon big box find. Interesting. Let's see how much. Not sure. Okay, they all have some more moonlight trubii and this beautiful fern. Neon pothos, absolutely huge leaves on that. Oh, they have a pretty sunny eye over here. And look at this ZZ. That beautiful lime green new growth is just so pretty. Fabulous, fabulous plants. Another aglionema. Just kind of looking at this leaf. Pretty, look how nice this one is. I can never tell the difference between pearls and jade or enjoy, but for 13, that's really lovely. This Aglionema is 29. It's one of those with the whites on the outside of the leaves. Absolutely beautiful. Why am I so obsessed with this little twisty chunk? <laughs> so cute. I love it. $7 though. Oh my gosh, look at the Euphorbia they have down here. Nice. Enopolia, 26. Sometimes I'm shocked by the um, cactus euphorbia succulents I can find at the big box shops. Like it's always such a pleasant surprise. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Look, look, look. Whoop, whoop. Variegated Apuntia. Alert. $5.98. That's a good deal. Oh my gosh, look. They have pre planted um, like alocasia, colocasias, and they're growing out of the out of the box. It's adorable. Oh, I see some interesting stuff here. They have some really nice skin dapsis. But look at the funky pots they're in. I'm totally into it. What kind is this? Look at that. Isn't that an interesting pothos? Has a little bit of white on there. Um, I wonder which variety this is. There's so many that it looks similar, like the lemon meringue, the global green. It's kind of hard to, t the emerald. It's hard to tell sometimes with all these new, exciting 
both those varieties coming on the market. This beautiful marble peperomia, absolutely gorgeous. Oop, my favorite plumosa, asparagus fern, obsessed. What's down here? Maranta and Hartley philodendrons. I was just looking at this plant and I don't think it's a lipstick plant, but it's not labeled. What kind is this? The leaves are pretty thick and it's so lush and full. It's $20. I'm so curious. Definitely let me know in the comments. And they have so many pretty staghorn ferns. I love it. So I'm at the Walmart next door and this place is hit or miss. It's if you get here on the right day, I have in the past been fortunate to find some really cool uncommon plants. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It looks like they have a lot of plants. So maybe just off the bat, I'm looking at this beautiful Adansonii. Just so big and lush. But this is really, really gorgeous Adansonii. It's $20. They have a Raphidophora tetrasperma here, 19 and oh look yeah this place doesn't get picked over as much as the other ones global green pothos i also see some chameleon zizis hanging out in there you don't see the chameleon zizis that much i think they get scooped up pretty quickly but you got to get here like when the plants first arrive because otherwise they can get dried out i think but look at this silver dragon Gorgeous Aglionema, Baltic Blue, like they have some nice trending tropicals. So let's see what else. I found a, a Stanleyana here one time, an Albo, Monstera Stanleyana. Um, I found a White Wizard here when it first came on the market in Charlotte. So this place can be really good. Raphidophora, um, Hai. I have one climbing up my wall. It's a really fast grower, such a cool plant. What else? We got some hanging succulents up here. That's nice. Some little succulent gardens. And, ooh, look at this euphorbia. That is an interesting find. I don't wanna, 497, look at that euphorbia. Wow, you don't see that one around that much. Especially at a big box shop for $5, that's insane. They have some nice cactus and succulents. Look at these big fuzzy ones. I love them. What else? Some more ZZs. Just really taking my time to look through everything. They have a really pretty pharaoh cactus. Look at that one right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Some anthuriums. And... Up here, there are some pothos, looking so pretty. Aglionemas, 15 for the aglionemas. $15 for those plants, that's really pretty. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, a Birkin back there. Some more Raven ZZs. You know, they have a lot of plants. Like, look at all this aloe, $4.97. Oop. Uh oh, he lost an arm. Raven ZZs. Pretty Tradescantia. The Albiflora Tradescantia. Oh, nice Syngonium up here, too. Trying not to like m overlook anything. Some ivy here. Because stuff gets kind of mixed in together, you know? Ooh, look at these Euphorbia. I like them. It's very uh, blowy in here all of a sudden. A bit of wind. Oh my gosh! I don't know. I'm like kind of loving this domino cactus. It's one of the bigger ones I've seen. Five bucks. That might be like worth it. I love these. And mine's just a little guy. I love a big chunky domino cactus. Okay, that's a maybe. And these are really big too. I just love these. They're really vibrant. Some more of the interesting euphorbia. Is this the um, 
trying to remember what it's called, like Dragon Spine or something. There's so many different kinds, it's hard to remember them all. Some more height, Raftophora highies. Good lord, look at this one. He's big. Oh, these are cool. Wow. Look, <laughs> these little pups on them. Keeping it going. They have a lot of ferns. Look at this beautiful bromeliad. It is so red and vibrant. Wow, and look at like the inside. There's like even little purple flowers on the inside. What a beautiful plant. Really, what a beautiful plant. Some nice philodendron here. $19. Baltic blue, 19 And what else? Some... Oh, this is a nice size one. Elephant Bush 1996. I saw these one time at a store. It was an elephant bush, but a really big one. And it just looks so cool. So, but I struggle with these. They seem to drop leaves on me. They have some beautiful Tradescantia zebrinas. I mean, these are lovely. 1488. Look how shimmery they are. Some really nice size Euphorbia 19. Got some more Aglionema here. All right, it looks like they have some Begonia Maculata Whitey Eyes, and I'm so tempted, actually. I have one, um, it got really leggy, I trimmed it way down, and it's doing okay, but these leaves are just so awesome, and I don't see them all that often anymore on the market, so it's like, kinda gotta scoop them up when you can, 19. Have you guys seen the variegated version of this? It is so, so stunning. I love the, this plant. So yeah, that's a maybe. So I'm at my next Lowe's and I was just looking at these um, alocasia, $10. And I think this one has some sport variegation. What do you guys think? Like this is all very light colored. It's on the other leaves too. Like this leaf has it as well. It's very subtle. Like it needs to be washed off but that just looks like it to me. It's on the back of it as well. I think that might be some little sport variegated alocasia. What's up with the variegated alocasias in my life these days? That's so, so awesome. That's so cool. Wow. Let me just take a look at some of these other ones. No, I don't see it on any of the other plants. That's so neat. Wow. $10. There are so many plants here at this Lowe's. It's packed full. They have the Moonlight Tree Bee Iscandapsis. They have the Global Green. And they have Raven's Easies. They even have a Monstera Peru here. You don't see that that much uh, here in Charlotte. They have the beautiful silver dragon alocasia, some gorgeous aglionemas. I mean, look at all of the stunning fiddles that they have. So beautiful. They have some heartleaf philodendrons and some, look at this gorgeous calathea. It looks like it's been painted on. Oh, so, so lovely. Some bird's nest ferns, um, some marble peperomias, adansoniae over here. Some really nice blush big ones. Look at this beautiful Mykins, $15. They have some fern, who look, a nice orchid cactus there. And some ZZ's, Peace Lily. Really pretty Syngonium there. Ooh, ferns, Ivy, Tradescantia, Staghorn Fern. They have some really nice Staghorn Ferns in stock at the big box shops right now, so if you're out looking for one you know now's a good time to go grab them look pretty i haven't been seeing as many marble queen pothos as i used to see oh look at this different bakia maculata it's not cool 548 
And I also used to see a ton of Manjula pothos in the market, but I'm not seeing them as much anymore. Oh look, it's a Pilea Moon Valley friendship plant. It was flowering, I love this one. What else? Let's see, we have some more lovely Syngonium. Some lemon button. Um, ZZ plant. I thought this might be a little bit of variegation, but I just think it's, I don't know, it's all over the different leaves. But not on the older ones. I think it's just a bit messed up. Crazy would that be to find a variegated alocasia and a variegated ZZ today. What else? That would be the best, like, <laughs> rare plant shopping at big box shops on a budget video ever. What else? What else? Some Tradescantia. Is this one? This Tradescantia is nice. It's really fuzzy. Then we have another one over there. This is the teddy bear one. Been seeing a couple of those today. It's really nice. And looks like a bunch of plants over here I'm excited to look at but they have loads of ZZs here. Just lovely. Now there are supposed to be some Diffenbachias coming on the market that are variegated with Costa, so I always kind of keep my eye out in case, um, in case it's one of those. But, Let's see, some Syngonium, Bird's Nest Fern, uh, uh, Ficus Audrey, some more of the Mykins. It's really fun seeing the Mykins. That makes me so happy. I'll never forget the first time I found a Mykins and it was at a big box shop and I was just dying. Oh, look, they have a fuzzy petiole. 15, pull back a little bit. That's a good find. I wouldn't call it rare, but it is somewhat uncommon. You don't stumble across it all the time. Some nice bird's nest ferns. People have been finding variegated ones of those around. And Monstera Deliciosas. Never have had the luck of finding a variegated Monstera, but I don't think I like have taken the time to look super closely. Wow, they have a ton of clearance plants here. They're all about 50% off, just so many. I mean, look, they have the Trending Tropicals here, 50% off. Um, Silver Dragon, Mosaica, that would be great for her on a budget. And the Silver Dragons look good. So, and like, look, beautiful Aglionema, literally nothing wrong with it, 50% off. Bamboo, wow, we got Jade, all sorts of plants, hmm. Big piece lily, probably just needs a little bit of water and it would bounce right back. This is my last stop, which is a Walmart. And I'm just gonna quickly glance through, but first of all, look at these beautiful cactus. Like, here's my hand for size reference. They're really big, $15. These are super cool too, $15. Like, they have some really nice cactus available. Um, the training tropicals are over there, but really quick, wanna take a peek at the exotic angels. They have some nice Rex begonias and Syngoniums. And they're $4.48, so they're a little less than at Lowe's. But you don't have as much selection. They have some aloe, some succulent gardens here. Lots of beautiful succulent gardens today. Bromeliads, here we have some fun anthuriums and some more bromeliads. Uh, let's go over here and see. Oh! Okay, here is that really cool alocasia. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's very silvery. It's new to the market. And I'm back and forth. I might end up getting one of these. Not today, I don't think, because I'm staying on my budget. Um, it's not this one, Chattiscantia Chattis Rocks, though. But it is the, like that silvery blue alocasia. This is the only store where I've seen it. So I'm at the Walmart in Indian Trail. $20, that's really cool. There are some, is this Global Green? Yes, Global Green Pothos 19. They have some nice Calatheas and tons of uh, Golden Pothos and Bromeliads. Oh look, they have Emplesimums. 
so beautiful. Uh, these are getting scooped up really fast, so it's exciting when I see them. And I just found a variegated one that I got too. So I am in love. What is this one? Oh, look, they have the lemon meringue pothos as well. 19. So yeah, they have some great plants. Holy cow. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, so over here we have some other cool plants. They have the Begonia Maculata YDI, which is nice. I'm only seeing them at Walmart. So if you're looking for one of these Begonia Maculatas, Walmart is the spot to check out. They have the Raphidophora Hyes, Moonlight Trubii. Trying to see if there's anything else unusual that I haven't seen. Okay, they have some Xanthosoma. Haven't seen any of those today. Very beautiful. And, oh, so this is the Tratus Scantio Roxo, that new Tratus Scantio on the market at the big box shops. Some nice Syngonium, Birkin, Aglionemas, more Amplissimum, Epipremnums, and then, wow, that's a lot of Begonia Maculata, so that's exciting to see. Oh, they also have Baltic Blue if you're looking for some Baltic Blues. Bromeliads. Let's see, they have some really pretty Monstera Deliciosas. Absolutely lovely. plant haul time. I'm so excited to share what I found. It was so awesome and surprising. So let's jump into it. First up is a plant that I found at Walmart. There were so many great trending tropicals out at Walmart, so they're definitely worth checking out right now. But I ended up getting something that's not rare or uncommon, but just really cute. And it is this really adorable domino cactus. Again, not a rare plant or anything, but I loved how big it was. Like normally they're really tiny when you find them at the big box shops. And this one is like a nice size little guy. And I just thought he was so cute for $5.47. Best deal ever, again, budget of $20. So you'll see if I stayed within my budget or not, because I did get a couple of plants. So this plant is great. I love these guys. I have been really enjoying my cactus. So the next plant is the really exciting one and I got it at Lowe's. It's this beautiful alocasia, $10. It's labeled as a fried egg. Definitely not a fried egg, but that's all right. But the reason I chose it and I would have paid like been excited to find this plant for $10 anyways, check your outdoor section. But I found this one that has this sport variegation on there. I'm not lucky with finding sport variegation that I try, but I'm just like, I don't know if I don't have the eye for it. I found one, guys. I'm so excited. I'm excited to share it with all of you because I know you all know how exciting it is. And well, you know what's so funny is I recently bought a really beautiful variegated alocasia. So, you know, maybe it was a sign of good things to come or something. But I'm, I definitely think it's sport variegated. It's very mild. It's not super noticeable, but I do notice it on some of the other leaves as well. It looks like they, this plant could have a touch of spider mites already, so I'm going to treat it. And then I think with my alocasias, I'm gonna let them hang outside a bit, little bit this summer so they can get that humidity and light. And I think with this one, with humidity and light, the variegation might become more pronounced and the leaves will become bigger because they need that humidity, I'm learning. So I'm really excited about this one. And guess what, it was $10, so I came in under budget with my $6 um, cactus and my $10 alocasia. And I just thought this was a really nice plant anyways for nine bucks, you know, $10. So great freaking day, I'll say, I'm totally shocked. And I'm about to do um, a care video filming tomorrow where I'm going to be doing plant chores. And one of the things I'm filming is uh, with all the new plants I brought, what I do to treat them. And a lot of people have asked me to film that. So I'm gonna film it tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that one if you want to. It's gonna be like a plant chores video, which in all my years, I don't think I've ever done a plant chores day video. So I'm plant sitting for a friend. So I'm going to like do a few things for her plants. Um, while they're in my care, I'm going to give them a little extra TLC for her. And I thought I would film it. I also have a lot of stuff I need to do with my own plants. 
So I'm excited to share that with everybody, um, really just because everyone's been asking me what I do when I bring them home. So it's not rocket science, but it's definitely very helpful in preventing a pest outbreak. And it's simple, it's not complicated either. So anyways, let me know what you think, what you would have picked out. And also please don't um, forget to mention like if you're finding any cool plants out on the market because we're getting all sorts of cool plants all different around the country. So it lets me know to keep an eye out for things coming on the market. And if you would like to see other planty videos, again, subscribe so they'll show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a fabulous community on Instagram. You guys are the absolute best. Again, the hugely popular native is offering 20% off site-wide to Ashley and Nita viewers. Just use my code PLANTLIFE5. It is for a limited time, so stock up and save. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.